Players team up and cooperate together to defeat the opposing team. This is the layout of the battle arena. Your team's side is on the left, while your opponent's side is on the right. On each team's side, there are a total of five goals, or scoring areas. Catch wild Pokémon that inhabit the field to score points. The goal of the game is to score more points than your opponents within the time limit. The Pokémon you control begins each battle at level 1. By defeating wild Pokémon in the field, your Pokémon will increase in level, and even evolve, as well as learn new moves. You get to choose which moves your Pokémon learns as it levels up. Focus on close-range attacks, or choose to optimize for long-range capabilities. Even with the same Pokémon, you can choose how you want to battle. Once you reach a high enough level, you can unlock moves unique to this game called Unite Moves. Some can deal a lot of damage to multiple opponents at once. Each Pokémon has a different Unite Move with powerful effects. Choosing when to use your Unite Move and attempting to read when the opponent will use theirs is part of the excitement of the match. Use tactics like surrounding opponents that approach your base or sneaking around back to the opponent's side's goal to score while a teammate has the opponent's attention. Teamwork is very important in order to defeat your opponents. Now our players are choosing their Pokemon. While there are no type advantages in Pokemon Unite, each Pokemon has different traits and abilities, so your choice is important. Both teams have locked in their Pokemon picks. The battle begins as all of the Pokemon rush out from the starting area. As we can see, our players are catching lots of wild Pokemon. And we have our first score of the game. Mr. Ishihara Squirtle has evolved into a War Turtle. His HP is running very low. If you retreat to a goal on your side, you can recover your HP. Talonflame has its sights on Pikachu. Pikachu couldn't get away, and Talonflame got the KO! I got Pikachu! I got Pikachu! Ooh, good fight. Even if your Pokémon is knocked out, it will recover after a brief amount of time. Snorlax is trying to score a goal, but the opposing team's Clefable and Talonflame are trying to put a stop to it. If you get attacked while trying to score, you will be interrupted. Charmeleon is in trouble being chased down by three opponents. And here comes Mr. Ishihara's War Turtle with a Skull Bash and Hydro Pump combo. What an amazing play. They expertly surrounded their opponents. Nice. <laughs> And with that score, the goal was destroyed. With the goal destroyed, the opponents have fewer healing spots. And here comes a Unite move! Talonflame is knocked out, and Charizard unleashes a Fire Blast! We're approaching the end of the match with Team Ishihara in the lead. All points scored in the final two minutes are double. There's no telling who will end up winning this match. Matsumaru has a lot of points saved up, and he's sending his Charizard in for a goal. And he scores a massive score for the team. This might decide the match. As we near the end of the match, we see Mr. Ishihara's team approaching the goal on the opponent's side. And here is Snorlax with a Unite move and Blastoise unleashing a Unite move of its own. They are overwhelming that Venusaur. Only 10 seconds left on the clock now. Can Team Ishihara do it? And that's the 
game! Mr. Ishihara's team are the winners! Thank <laughs> you.